Welcome, I'm DJ Lauren Boone and in this YouTube series I'm going to help you become the best DJ you can be. In this video we're going to show you the basics of the DDJ200 and the software apps that I use when mixing. Let's get into the video. So as you can see I have my DDJ200 set up jogged up to my tablet and my headphones are set up and my speakers set up. Before we get into the software, we're just going to navigate ourselves through the DDJ200. So to start off, this section here in the middle is your mixing section. Here you will find the EQs, high, mid and low. You also have this section here for your headphones. If you press the headphone master button, you will only be able to hear your tracks through your headphones. If you press the one button, you will be able to hear track twos in the speaker, but you will also be able to hear track ones track in the headphones and vice versa if you were to do Two, you would hear two in headphones and speaker, and you would only be able to hear ones in the speaker. Here we have the C effect knobs. These will be for your fader, your noise, or your echo effect. If you twist it all the way clockwise, that's all the way high. If you twist it the other way around, anti-clockwise, that's all the way to the lowest point. Here we have the main volume sliders. All the way up is the volume is at its highest unless you turn these knobs higher. All the way down is, well, you won't be able to hear the song. And the same on the other side. This button here, you can only be able to use it on I os devices and apple devices this button basically does all the work for you one click of the button and you'll be able to just slide it slide your cross fader or your volume sliders up and down and it would just do all the ecoing for you as i've already said this is your cross fader all the way to the right, you will only be able to hear deck two. All the way to the left, you will be only hearing deck one. And if you have it in the middle, you would hear both at the same time, if played at the same time. Both decks are the exact same either side of the mixing section. You both have the exact same jogs. Obviously, when wanting to go fast through the track you just go clockwise if you want to go slow through the track you go anti-clockwise and when beat matching you would be using the sides of the jogs to make sure that your tracks are synced up over here we have your shift buttons these are these have a lot of priorities. If you press it once and you have more than eight effects on your performance pads, you can shift to the next eight. Same on deck two. You can also use the shift button for the tempo, which I will get into more detail when we go on to Wii DJ. Here is your beat sync. If you don't know how to beat match yet, use beat sync. One button of that, both deck one and deck two are synced without having to do it manually. And the same on the other side. Here we have our tempo sliders all the way to the top that is the slowest 
your song can go unless you change a few things on me dj which again i will show you in a bit if you go all the way down that is the fastest your track will go unless you unless you change the effects again here we have your q buttons the exact same on each side and here you have your play and pause button and that is it guys now you know exactly what is what on the ddj 200 now we're gonna go onto the tablet and navigate ourselves through we dj we are on we dj app for android play this one that is deck one right there deck two is the bottom one To know how far you are through the track, your track will be shown all the way through here, like so. Again, on here, um, this bit again is the same as the bit over here both show you how far along you are through your track on the top here where it says the minutes remaining you can either have it showing how many minutes are remaining on your track or if you press it again it shows you how many seconds you are in that track but i prefer to have the minutes remaining just because countdown to either hot cues or cue points having it show you the minutes remaining for me um is my reference but again it's different for different people over here here you'll notice it says performance pad this these four here and down here as well will show you all the performance pads so here we are just shown all the cue points. I accidentally got another cue point there on deck one by accident. But if you go to pad mode select and press it, all the pad modes will come up. So we have hot cue, auto loop, manual loop, pad effects and simp simpler. For now we're just going to keep on hot cue and the same with deck 2 they will all be shown here these three icons here are just how you want this bit here to look so if you go on to this one it will just show jog wheels or turntables if you go on to this one, it will show you the first one, but just vertical. I like to have horizontal just because that's my reference. But again, if you prefer the other modes, then that's up to you. Over here in the bottom middle here sh shows you your C effects. If you press once on both of them, you can change how you want the effects to be i mainly only use filter filter and noise but for now i'm going to keep it on filter over here we have quite a lot going on so this bit here of your screen is basically how you want the grid to look so if you press the plus button it will zoom in for you if you press the minus button it will zoom out for you and if you press the rst the reset button it will just reset to wherever it was with grid button it changes how the grid looks so with these two buttons oh, with these two buttons here set and reset you can set to where you want the bars to be so as you just seen i just set it up then you just go off it and now the bars are set to how you want them
it does help a lot slip now slip is really good if you like to do a lot of hot cooing what i mean by that is you play the song and if you press one of your hot cue points it will go to that point but carry on where it originally was just like that which is really good if you want to show off to your friends now splicer just shows you the same but in sections what I mean is you can just press one of these and it will go to that place and then go to the original place. So. Just like that. Now over on this side, it's the same by the way on here as well, it's the same as what I just showed you. Now on this side here, we have th this number here shows you your BPM. If you press this button like I accidentally did, it will help um, to pitch and sync uh, your current song to the next song or vice versa. This slider here is your tempo slider. Now, I was talking to you guys about this button here that I'm pressing. I'm just going to put it to where this one is. So that basically helps you with the range. So right now, we can range either 10 plus down from where we are or 10 plus up from where we are here. If you press it again, that's 16 down, 16 up. Press again, wide means you can just go all the way down to however slow you want or all the way up to however slow you want. And yeah, that's that part. And that is pretty much you sorted for Wee DJ. For setting up um, your tracks all you have to do is just press here and you can load your tracks here tag list i recommend you guys using um just because if you only have a couple of tracks that you want to be mixing and you don't want to have to keep finding them or all the way through here you just go like what i'm going to do with this track here just Go on to the three dots and, oh, I accidentally deleted it from tag list. And just add to tag list, just like that. And so, which actually I don't know where that one was, because um, I had it already on here. I think it was there. It will load the song up, show you your BPM here and also show you the hot cue points that you already have put up so that is we dj i've tried to do it in the simplest form possible and yeah that is you all done for your navigation around we dj software and your navigation around the ddj 200 Thank you.